We, do we have found something interesting? I don't know what they are. Are they rodents of some sort? Maybe you can help me. They just look like big rats, to be honest. Uh, they are massive, but there's two of them, and they were fighting. Well, first, we had them nibbling at one another, and Manu said, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> and then they were fighting with one another. Are they gerbils? They've got very long back feet. There's two of them. There's the other one. I don't know what they are. Pouch rats? I don't know. I've seen them running around, but I haven't sat, they had them sit still, still enough to actually be able to identify them. Lucy says we should just call them mouse creatures. We can call them mouse creatures. Yeah, I'm going to clean myself. I'm going to lick my hands and then I'm going to rub them over my face and make sure that it's nice and clean. This is amazing. Like, this is what I dream of when I come on a safari, but now I'm a bit strange, of course. I love seeing these smaller things and watching uh, animals in infrared like this that we wouldn't normally be able to see. Because, honestly, I don't think any of the presenters can say that they have got much experience in watching gerbil and mice and rats and whatever do their thing. They're right next to the car as well. They're less than a meter away from us. Just chilling. Didn't mind. They were on the road. I think one was digging for something. Maybe they'd stashed some little treats. Oh, hello. I don't know how many sightings we've had like this on Safari Live. It'd be quite interesting to see what, what they get up to. I mean, typically rats have got very, very long tails. Mice have got long tails too, but in proportion to their body, they're not quite as long. Woo! Wow, look at that. Bit of a battle going on there. Sizing one another up. Maybe they're two males. And they're having a bit of an argument. That's quite exciting. I think they're going to do it again. Oh, no, mating. Mating. Oh, my goodness. Never did I think coming on a safari this evening I would see mating rodents. This is very exciting. I've never seen this happen before. Wow, look at him go. That's actually lasting for quite some time. That was a lot longer. <laughs> Louise, stop laughing because you're going to make me laugh. It's supposed to be professional. And I can <laughs> Manu is also giggling now. I've never seen this before. Manu, have you ever seen this before? I wouldn't be even be able to tell you how many. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to tell you how many times they would mate. Have we have we decided if they're gerbils or rats? I, I don't. I'm. I, they look very much like bushveld gerbils. They do, but they could also be rats. I don't. I don't know the the rodent species too well in this area. That was fantastic them sleeping that's an exceptionally long tail as well that's one at least two and a half times the length of its body oh wow oh yes that's i'm not even that's <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I cannot contain myself right now. This is one of the best sightings. <laughs> this is one of the best sightings I've had in my life. I'm crying. I'm so sorry, everybody. Wow. Well, now I can say <coughs> that when I go home tonight and I tell my mom what I saw in Safari, she's going to be so excited. <laughs> And off they go. I can't watch them anymore. That was fantastic. I don't think it's going to get any better than that. Woo! Manu, did you enjoy that? Were you recording? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let me just wipe the tears from my face <laughs> while I try and compose myself. I'm so sorry. That was that was very overwhelming for me and I hope that it, you all giggled as well because I actually didn't know how to even, I don't know what to say about that sighting, but it was amazing and I feel like I've learned a lot from that.